boys and girls around the world were sitting around saying, ooh, I can't wait till Christmas Day when Santa brings me the gift of the interview. And then that old Grinch, that old Grinch Kim Jong Il, um. boom, he's ill. <laughs> <laughs> he decided to come in and take our toys away. That's true. And deprive us of our took, movie. Took our toys, our decorations, our roast beast. All <laughs> that good stuff. But Sony, to, today, Sony said, don't worry, children, because Christmas has come a day early. We are proud to announce to you that the interview is not only going to be released, but it's going to be released. You don't even have to leave your homes, mm -hmm. boys and girls. The movie is going to be released for you to consume on your computers and other devices now that the movie's out. Need we tell you, need we really tell you about the, the, the plot of this? You already know it. You've heard it for weeks already. And now everybody's, now all the world's looking at us, Martin. You and me saying, what do those two Negroes think of this film? <laughs> 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 now, you know something? Actually, with this movie, I got to admit to you. Now, y'all think, think I'm going to bash this film right here. And... Let me just get my complaints out the way real quick. I thought the first half of the movie was pretty bad. I'm watching this. Yeah. And I, well, I'm, man, I'm watching this and Seth Rogen and James Franco, especially James Franco. Yeah. James Franco, to me, especially him, they're like the two most annoying frat guys you would ever want to be around. Hmm. They're those guys who, you know, they, they sit around and they, 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 they talk hip-hop slang, you know, and Ebonics because they think it's funny. What's up, player? You know, talking to each other. And I yeah, 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 shitty. yeah. And, they, and that was getting on my nerves, man. Okay, when James Franco did This Is The End, yeah, he was funny because he was able to hang around a bunch of other people who really are true comedians. Right. You know, like Craig... Uh, what's Craig it? Robinson. Craig Robinson, you know, and... Uh, you and know, Danny and McBride. Danny McBride. And, and so he was surrounded by all these people who could play off of him, right? He could play off of them. Yeah. He has to carry this movie with him and Seth Rogen. Yeah. And they did it together in Pineapple Express. But in Pineapple Express, he played a pothead. Right. And and, and, and that, that fit. With and, and that fit. Right here, this is, uh, I don't think he's able to carry this style of, of comedy where he, where he has to play sort of an idiot, sort of a bumbling idiot. Well, that's the way he comes across, as a bumbling idiot, but not that funny to me. You know me. I like Seth Rogen, man. You love Seth I love, Rogen, I, man. I don't know why. Seth Rogen reminds me of every fat fucking friend that took it, that like like took up for me in high school. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Seth Rogen is that kind of guy, man. Right. Right. He's very down to earth. He's very down to earth. His, man. his characters, anyway. James Franco was bringing him down for me. Mm -hmm. Take him out. Take him out. Like for drinks? No, no, no. Take him out. Take out. Like to dinner. Take him out to a meal. Take him out. Like on the town party. No. Gonna gonna uh, keep with the same gag. Take him you want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? I don't even think it's that cleverly written. I mean, I think that these jags, are, th these gags right here, are pretty juvenile myself. And, and I mean, as far as writing goes, I mean, this is very obvious and amateurish to me. But, hmm. but the movie, and I was about to give up on it. But when they actually got to North Korea, yeah. When they actually started hanging out with Kim Jong Un, uh huh. For some reason, that shit was funny to me, man. And mainly because because the, the guy who plays Kim Jong-un, what's his name? Uh, Ra Randall, Randall Park, Park, who looks nothing like Kim Jong-un. Don't need to. Everybody who's watching this movie, do y'all really know what Kim Jong-un looks like? They say, yeah, yeah he looks like him, right? No, there. no, no, there's plenty of pictures of him. He looks like a, a big, giant baby. But nobody's looking at those pictures. Really? I'm Corey, <laughs> stop for a second. Do you really want to go with that statement? Nobody's looking at those pictures. He's he's got a distinctive face. I, I he do. he looks like an eight year old that's been suddenly took a pill and grew up into a man. I hate to Randall say Randall Park. You know, as much as he's gained weight for this, he's still somewhat of a, of a handsome guy. My point is, nobody cares what he looks like. Nobody, nobody, no, half, the, half these kids don't even know what he looks I kinda like. I kind of care. Let me ask you something. Okay, I'm gonna bring up a point right here. All right, I'm gonna and I'm gonna bring up an, I'm gonna bring up another movie for my point right here. Okay. What's one of your favorite movies today about civil rights or this year? Uh, I think the only one that came out would be <laughs> Selma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Who who played Martin Luther King in that? Uh, David Oyo Ole 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 Ole. Does he really look like Martin Luther King? Hmm. No, no. I'm going to take that as no, but you did not let that bother you. And that's a drama. Right? Yeah. 
So the fact that I'm looking at this right here, and this is a comedy, I don't need for this guy to look just like him. That's that's asking too much from the movie. It's a parody, man. It's, you know, it's not meant to be that serious. Okay, all right. So this guy was hilarious to me. Okay. I found it extremely funny. As the movie went along, man, when they hit North Korea and they actually have to pull off this mission, all that... All that bumbling that they were doing before here in America, that, that wasn't funny. That whole fish out of water thing worked for me right here, man. Yeah. Yeah, it, you know, this, this, the huge culture, culture clash. And the reason why it worked with, uh, with Kim Jong-un is because they, have, they made him a real character, actually. I mean, to the point where he's charming. He's also menacing. He's kind of villainous. At, but at the same time, you still you want to hang. They actually came across as you wanting to hang out with this guy. Mm -hmm. He's the one that saved this film, actually. Go ahead. Oh no, no. I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm surprised you had. Um, here comes a smart ass comment right here. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm surprised you had such a problem um, with the first half, um, when the whole movie was pretty much <laughs> the same thing. You can play about the first half. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I guess I, I, I before watch this movie, I thought, man, I'm gonna be mad if we end up going to war over a movie. But now that I've seen this, I'd be especially mad if we went to war over this movie. I never laughed once. I'm not even sure I chuckled. I didn't get mad so much, but I was just like, it's just not doing anything. What you said about the first half is so dead on. Like, I thought you, I thought you were about to say, I love the first half. No, fuck no. Uh, the first half, okay, uh, um, mistake. You have an actor and a comedian, but you make the comedian the straight man. No, that's the opposite way you do this. Because James Franco, Basically, for comedy, all he did, it seems, is just study every comedic role of Johnny Depp and go like, oh, I got it. I'll just mug and make voices. Seth Rogen is playing his, 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 um, his straight man self through yeah. the entire movie. And even that, after a while, you go like, okay, we got the dumbass and we got the guy who's supposed to be us. And after a while, it's kind of like, you know what? I'm kind of getting tired of you just going like, man, you're being so stupid. Stop. What are you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? These guys were annoying. They just weren't bringing anything to this. It's rare that a movie is exactly what you see from the trailer. Sometimes okay. it's worse. Sometimes it's better. This is exactly that. And yes, the movie's about two hours long. Yeah, it Don't, is. Un, do not understand why. Don't understand why this movie is as long as it is. Now, I will give you that. I will give you that. That's another thing that I really didn't like about the first half is that the first half has no story. The no. First half, the first half is set up. And the first half of this movie... The reason why it's long is because they're able to get all these cameos in and they want to and they're making it longer by coming in and just making jokes. You know, they have jokes that they want to that they really want to crowbar in there. How'd you feel about the Eminem scene? I was just about to say one of the things I did like there's a there's a cameo with Eminem at the beginning. I won't spoil what happens with that, but I thought that that was funny. Really? Yes. Oh, I did not find that funny at all. I mean, I was like, OK, Eminem is actually acting. I mean. He looks weird, like a real skinny Kevin Spacey <laughs> with his hair dyed blonde at this point. But I was just like, all right, well, it's like like the 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 punchline of that joke comes early, and then they just milk it, and then it kind of goes nowhere. Wow, Martin, fuck you, man! You don't like anything about this movie. I, I mean, I, I really kind of don't. It's funny how I'm so begin to read you more than I ever did before. Okay. Here, here's here's the reason why. I knew you wouldn't like this. Okay. Because you you weren't a big fan of This is the End. True. You didn't like that. You you jumped on my ass about Neighbors. I take Neighbors in a second over this. But you didn't like it though when it came out. You weren't I, you weren't I didn't fun love of it. it. I wasn't I didn't love it. Yeah. And so I already kind of knew that this would not be your thing because, uh, you know, dis despite how I would ever come out feeling about it, I was like, you know what? Martin is going to go into this and Martin is not going to like this because, and I'm not saying that you're prejudiced against the movie. I just don't think that this is your brand of humor. It's got that stoner humor vibe where like whatever, hey man, we've been smoking pot and whatever we think of is really funny and other potheads will get it. Yeah, you don't. I'm not one. So maybe that's why I like that, that kind of like, oh dude, wouldn't it be funny if we did this? Yeah, let's, let's film that. If you like something. You'll interject quick. True. We'll have a conversation. When, they, when you don't like something, you sit up there and you study my ass. And you just look at me. And you just like nod your head every now and then. But I know what you're doing. You sit up there just studying me because, first of all, you said, well, I know he's going to like it better than, than I am. So let me let me go ahead and formulate my smart ass comeback real quick right here on my on my, on my joke to make fun of him. And I, I'm not making fun of him. That's what we do. The other thing <laughs> is like, and also, let me see how I can disagree with him while... 
not being an asshole, but making his man making his ass look dumb too. You know? <laughs> no, wait a minute. You don't do that. <laughs> no, if you like something I don't, I'm gonna say like I don't like it. You're gonna you're gonna say why not? Mm-hmm. I gotta have a, a rebuttal to that. It, it's it's there's also a lot of them just trading on their own celebrity and the celebrity of other people. Yeah, and I, I I don't care and, for that. And, and yeah, the, these are guys who worked with each other. And and have a lot of friends and, in Hollywood they, who can come by and do yeah, these they've cameos. Yeah, they've they've worked with each other long enough to where they can go in. They've been been in the industry long enough where they can, they say our movies make money. Just let us go in and hang out and do whatever we want to do. And so that's it. And that's to, Martin, the, to Martin's credit, it does come across like that sometimes. That's the Adam Sandler formula. Except that Adam Sandler has a formula where he's just like, hey, really, let's get a, let, let's go to a vacation spot, hang out, make make a bunch of stupid jokes, and cash in on stupid people. Right now, but, with with these guys, they actually come up with somewhat of a plot. I mean, say you might not like their humor in the movie, man, but their but their premises have sort of a satirical edge to them. I mean, this is the end. Hey, what if the what if, what if the end of the, the rapture was coming and we're a bunch of asshole celebrities who hang out in the house together? That's fucking genius compared to what Adam Sandler would come up with well, uh, these days. But this this is this is very similar to Adam to, to the early Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, I would even say it's better than that, man. I would even Adam Sandler is straight up frat boy, and I would say the, the average these are, these are Adam Sandler two point oh. No, no, I would think I would say that these this is the kind of humor that appeals to stoners, but not that stoner that just likes to sit there and you know do nothing and watch cartoons all, all day. This kind of appeals to the stoner that says, you know, yeah, I know I'm I'm high, I'm on babble, but at least I'm trying to say something. <laughs> Okay. You well, know, at least I'm trying. At least, at least I got I got ideas. You know, I I have I have theories and I have that I have got clever things to say. Tomorrow, man, I'm a, I'm finally pick up a pen and show everybody. <laughs> and you, hey, mm. and you know what? Mm. And, and you know what? <laughs> Seth Rogen did. <laughs> He's a stoner that did something, Martin. He's well, a, uh, he, he can go back to smoking pot if this is what he's gonna do. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know what, people? I give credit where credit is due. And I watched this, and like I said, there's a certain type of person that's not going to enjoy this. If that's you, what can I tell you? But, you know, like I said, I was in your position at the beginning. I said, I don't know where this is going, but I don't like it. And if it goes actually downhill from here, this is a bullshit movie. At the beginning of the movie, I said, you know what? Maybe Kim Jong-un is not mad because they killed him. And it's yeah. made, made, maybe he's mad because they didn't put him in a better movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, man, out of all the movies Hollywood makes, you put me in this shit. Gotta say, somebody yeah. saw this movie and like, man, this is going nowhere unless we create a controversy around it. Well, Martin, I disagree. God damn, boy, this this is acting weird right here. This computer. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. My computer is like. See, yeah, com- com- uh, your computer agrees with me. <laughs> He's like, not, computer's not letting me back at all. Yeah. Computer's like, hey. <laughs> hey, Corey, you know what you're talking about. I ain't letting you talk no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it oh, really no. is stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it is stuck. All right, well, anyway. I, th- I just got hacked. Well, that's fine. Well, well, well people, no. just all you need no. to do is listen to me. People. Do not waste your money. <laughs> on I don't know who hacked my system. Somebody that likes Martin hacked my shit, but no. Let me tell y'all something. Move out the way. The movie's not that bad. <laughs> Ring an but, endorsement but, there. Not that bad. The Corey movie's, Coleman, the, the, movie's the movie's actually not pre- that bad. the movie's actually pretty funny. If it you don't, it's not pretty if, funny. If, if 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 you're not a nitpicker like then, like, like like this if like, you like, like humor, this man right here. But hey, you know what? It's mildly. Abusive it's my review right now. Times. Hold on. Let me let me finish. Let me just get mine. I'm gonna go and fix this computer, but I can't do nothing right now. Give me give me my give me my time real quick, and I'll let you have it. People, I had fun with this. I'm gonna give this as far as a grade a matinee. But, mm. but, but, being that it is out there now, you rent it. <laughs> you know what I mean, come on. You know, I don't do at this point where you have it that easy and it's probably a little bit cheaper. Yeah, go ahead and rent it. You know, that's it's. I don't think it's worth leaving the house for. But as a grade, yeah, I give it a matinee. Uh, no, you lucky that I got hacked right now. You know what? I, it's hard to give it a rental because I rented it and didn't like it. So that would be, I don't want to quite right, give it. I'm back. Thank you. I don't, I don't <laughs> quite want to say some old bullshit, but man, it is a low rental. Like there's a lot of things you can rent besides this. You know what? And it's finally come down and made enemies of you and me. You let this movie come between us. Martin. Would you? Would you, would, would, would did this movie rate enough to be to come between us? Yes, it did, Martin. Uh, because you know, if you don't like this movie, do not man, watch this movie. People, don't be like Martin. Don't don't be un-American like Martin. <laughs> People, this movie fought for our freedom, and this asshole over here 
is letting is letting North Korea win. This movie is the very definition of like, yes, in America we can do everything. People, do but, not be this man over here. But that stand up for your freedom of but speech. But that doesn't mean that we should do don't everything. Don't be, a, don't sit up here and be a curmudgeon critic like Think him. Think for yourselves. People, stand up. War is not peace. If you are American, you give this love movie, is not if hate. You give this, if you are American, you give this movie a matinee above two. Don't turn your brains off. You're better than that. You're better than this movie. You let these millionaires just go out and play oh, with a camera on go, go. and take your money. Martin, if you don't like it, then why don't you go to North Korea and see how it feels? If that means I don't have to watch this movie again, I just might do that. Martin, I'm not listening to you. For the home <laughs> of the brave. Get out of here. Let go. Let me just... Uh-oh. Back I give in. this up oh, oh, Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>